talk about knowing the subtle signs of pain in your horse. We're all really familiar with the really obvious signs of pain, of being lame or the horse is bucking or the rearing. Um, I really want to dig into the really itty bitty tiny subtle signs. And before we get into that, it's really important to understand that the horse is a prey animal. They are not predators. They are not humans. They are not dogs. They are a prey animal. They are built to not show us what's going on because if they do, they could be lunch. Um, if they show their weakness and they're out in the wild, they could be, you know, they're showing that they're the weakest link. And so the horses really don't like to do that. Um, they, it's just their innate nature not to go there. This is a great example of a horse being a prey animal. Despite the fact that she's lived in captivity, when I say captivity, domestic horses, um, she's uh, grew up, born, raised uh, with human interaction. Um, She's a prey animal. She's on the lookout. What was that noise? Is that coming to eat me? Do I need to be prepared to fight or flight, right? Do I need to be ready to run away or is this danger? Do I need to alert the herd to that? Um, and so that goes hand in hand with the subtle signs of pain. And I bring this up because we work on a lot of horses and often, we'll get people that say, um, you know, my, my horse isn't in any pain. He's absolutely fine. And 99 out of a hundred horses are in some sort of discomfort or some sort of pain. And we just don't know it. We just don't pick up on it. And it's not anybody's fault. It's just, we don't know what we don't know. So, the subtle signs of pain in your horse to watch out for. First of all, know their innate nature. This mare is pretty quiet. She's incredibly sensitive. So the first thing I'm gonna notice is if her demeanor changes at all or if her behaviors change at all. That's a, 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 a subtle sign. Um, another subtle sign is if she flinches. Like if I go to brush her and she flinches somewhere, Horses aren't ticklish. That's actually a sign that they're experiencing discomfort somewhere. If they're girthy, again, after you've eliminated it as a training issue or, um, or an acceptance of the girth, it's a sign of pain, a sign of discomfort. Um, do they pin their ears back when they normally wouldn't pin their ears back? that's another indicator that they're communicating to you that they're uncomfortable. So you want to, if don't, if they don't stand for the farrier, if they normally stand, I have a 24 year old mare, she's rock solid, stands great for the farrier. Times that she doesn't stand great and she's acting up, she's got something going on in her body. So you really want to focus on those things because with horses, Everything means something. Everything means something and they're trying to communicate with you at all times if something is going on, if they're not feeling great.